Hi everyone, I just want to make a quick video on some skinning pro tips to help you with the robot. So if I come in here and find our robot, we already know that the default skinning is not so great. I mean, look at that. So, but it can be kind of challenging to go into our paint skin weeds tool and um, actually paint all these little details because there's like all these little nooks and crannies, it's kind of difficult. So here is something to help you out. Um, so if I go into isolate selection mode, I can just get the robot by itself. And pro tip number one is that if you go into vertex mode and you select all the vertices of an area that you want to skin, you can then go into the paint skin weights tool with the vertices selected and use the flood button. So I'm in, as we know, add mode, change my value to one, and then I can click flood, and it will flood 100% influence, a full one influence into all the vertices that you have selected. And so that's a really easy way to kind of quickly just flood an entire area. Now, um, that might not work for all these little areas, like maybe for the body, it would be a little bit harder to select these vertices. Like if I try to get the arm, it's a little bit challenging because there's other stuff in the way. But the way that this robot is built is that all of these are separate kind of chunks. So if I go into face selection mode and double click, I can, um, you see that I grab like the entire little chunk of the arm. So I can hold down shift and then double click, double click and Double click to grab all these little chunks. And um, now that all these faces are selected, if I control right click, a little radial menu comes up. I can say two vertices, two vertices. It'll convert my selection from faces to vertices. And now I can go into my paint skin weights tool. I can grab this end joint here and I can flood it. So, um, and then also just so you know what I'm doing is I'm right clicking on a joint and I'm saying um, select influence. It's a quick way to switch between your joints um, if you haven't named them properly like me. <laughs> um, so two, two little pro tips there. Um, basically just having vertices selected and then you can just um, flood those. Also, if you have them selected, you can just paint directly on them without worrying about painting in other places. So it's just a nice way to kind of isolate aspects of your mesh from the other pieces. I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have questions.